The Principle of God's Wisdom, Christian Daily Devotion. Scripture Reference, Deuteronomy 9, from 2 to 4. The people are strong and tall descendants of the famous Anakite giants. You've heard the saying, who can stand up to the Anakites, but recognize today that the Lord your God is the one who will cross over ahead of you like a devouring fire to destroy them. He will subdue them so that you will quickly conquer them and drive them out, just as the Lord has promised. After the Lord your God has done this for you, don't say in your hearts, the Lord has given us this land because we are such good people. No, it is because of the wickedness of the other nations that he is pushing them out of your way. Here Moses thought the people about God's divine wisdom and principles of operations on how God thinks, which was certainly different from the way the people were thinking. They must place their priority as God's chosen nation. So Moses brought to their understanding God's ordained intention for them and how they must be conscious of it. Hallelujah! God's protection over them and God's blessings on them didn't come because of how good they are. Moses spoke to them telling them that all of these wonderful things the Lord was doing was not because of their good deeds or it's because of how righteous they are. My dear, think about how good the Lord has been good to you since the day you came to Christ. How God's grace and blessings has located you and transformed you into another person. The Lord has indeed been faithful even in your unfaithfulness and he has been good to you even in your mistakes. Listen to what Moses said to the people. It is not because you are so good or have such integrity that you are about to occupy their land. The Lord your God will drive these nations out ahead of you only because of their wickedness and to fulfill the oath he swore to your ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You must recognize that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land because you are good, for you are not, you are a stubborn people. Deuteronomy 5, 6. God's covenant is paramount. As the Lord promised, He will accomplish it. God placed terror on the nations ahead of them and constantly preserved them not because of the word good and not because they were people of such integrity, but God did that because of how wicked the people on that land were. God was thinking about their safety from those people of he decided to fulfill the oath he swore to their ancestors. God so of you that he will do every wonderful thing for you this year. He will protect and show you kindness. Prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. You love me because you are love all by yourself. Through your love for me, I'm protected and preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.